Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. If you happen to tune in and see me staring blindly at my screen, that is because I'm waiting for Google to tell me when I'm live, and they brought me in muted. Sam I beat again, G reporting for the Media Speaks. Make sure you go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, check out our work. Guys, if there's a hand in front of your screen, you are on low def. If there isn't, you are watching high def. Thank you, Crystal. If you had a hand in front of your screen, go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and you, the high def is there. The low def is posted for people that do not have the ability to watch the high def due to their internet quality or because uh, they watched it live and it's in lower quality. People keep asking me. That's why I start it that way. It's not because I'm crazy. Friends, well, Infowars.com, Paul Joseph Watson. I'm going to go to both sides of this. And uh, this may be a rather long show because I'm going to address a topic that is both very important and that I have very little interest in. Those of you that follow the show know that I have very little interest in anything related to gay and anything related to abortion. I have my views. They're the correct views. But it's a never-ending battle, and there's more important uh, hills to die on, in my opinion. I'm more, I'm more worried about the people that are here with us than those that may have been aborted and are not here with us. Um... One of the things I have very little interest in is the battle of the sexes because it's clearly manufactured. However, it's been coming up in the media a lot lately. And um, we're going to go ahead and address it. We're going to go ahead and do it this time. And we're going to do it correctly because it's the correct views. Friends, uh, PJ Dub, as we call him, men are facing a full frontal assault on their rights, health, and culture like never before. The war on masculinity has never been so brutal, but it's not a war being waged by women. The attack is coming directly from the top, the establishment desperately attempting to emasculate and disempower men in order to force women to be more dependent on the state, thereby enabling more power to be centralized and aiding the growth of big government. Here are 10 ways in which the state has declared war on men and masculinity. And this is uh, the next one. Next segment's going to be on female. That's why I'm doing it this way. One, falling fertility. Sperm counts amongst men have significantly decreased over the last half century, and particularly over the last 25 years. In some European countries, sperm counts have dropped by as much as a third since 1989. That's uh, one out of three for you weekend fans. Part of the fall can be explained by exposure to pesticides, endocrine-disrupting chemicals like bisphenol A, also known as BPA, and many other artificial horrors that increasingly pervade our food supply. And I'm not reading all of these, so go to the article for more in-depth on each of these ten points. Two, chemical warfare, feminizing boys, exposure to flightlets, which are found in many plastics is feminizing boys by blocking normal male testosterone and causing genital abnormalities, say scientists. Quote, boys exposed to high levels in the womb are less likely than other boys to play with cars, trains, guns, or engage in rougher games.